Righteous white men can defeat evil white men. Um, speaking historically here, if you study through history, you'll see that there have been some very evil um, white rulers, some very evil uh, dictators and kings and whatever else. And you will also see that there have been some very righteous white men. And as a white man, I get really sick and tired of hearing people saying that whites have done so much evil and they'll focus on the Hitlers and guys like that. And they'll say, oh, see, look at the evil that these guys have done. That means all white people are evil. Well, that's a stupid racist type of a thing to say. And uh, not at all backed up by science and history and reality. But, you know, when people get their education completely from the Internet, you know, there's no telling what uh, kind of stupid nonsense they'll fall for. But um, the one thing I have seen in my studies down through the years has been that there, to preserve liberty, there have been some great white men that have come up with, you know, standards of law. The Magna Carta and the, and the um, what's the thing I just heard, King Alfred, you know, the great, not Alexander the Great, but Alfred the Great, and the dooms of something or other, you know, and, and they're, they're taking things from scripture and they're making it into law and the thing of British common law and, you know, all of these different things. The doctrine of the lesser magistrates and all this other stuff. And if you want to see a really good documentary on that, uh, Chris Pinto, um, Adulam Films, I think is what it, his company is called, uh, they put out a really good documentary. I'll put a link to it in, <coughs> in this video. Um, but hopefully it won't get taken down. A lot of times I link to videos and then the video gets taken down. Um, but there's a really good documentary out there about the thing of uh, a lot of these great white men that have brought out some really good laws. Uh, Oliver Cromwell, um, he brought out the thing of liberty of conscience. And, you know, he believed in the thing of um, that all men should be accountable to the laws of God and to the Bible. And that you have liberty of conscience. You are allowed to believe what you want as long as you're not trying to destroy other people or whatever else so the freedom that we have isn't just automatically it just showed up no the freedom that we have uh, came from very righteous men making very righteous laws to combat the very evil laws and the evil ways of wicked men uh, you study the roman history of ancient rome some of the caesars were just completely evil horrible men but then some of them were also very righteous. They were very good men in terms of uh, making right laws. I'm not saying that they were saved. I'm saying that they had um, <coughs> good standards of law. And there have been um, lost men here in America, like Teddy Roosevelt, that realized that the Bible is necessary to bring freedom to the people and to have a prosperous nation. Um, I know Teddy Roosevelt was a Freemason and a bunch of other things and whatever, and certainly the Roosevelt family is not one of the greater families of America, but understanding how you run a country. You don't run a country with by persecuting Christians and by saying we don't need the Bible. Um, the Bible is the great law book, and even if you're an atheist, you have to understand you cannot just say there is no God, there are no moral standards, there's no anything. We're just going to remove that from society. Okay? Um, you know, oh, religion is the opiate of the masses. Okay, well then give the masses some opiates. It will help them. <laughs> All right? And that's some deeper, higher level, critical thinking type of stuff that some atheists don't, just don't get because they have a, a an agenda against Christianity. They were wronged or hurt or something in some church building growing up and then now they have this thing that they just hunt down Christians all the time and try to attack and put doubts into their minds and whatever and convince them that the Bible's not true. Um, that's folly. That's foolish. And if you are of a higher intellect, you will have to understand religion has a place in a good society. You have to understand that. Um, and of course, how do you determine that? Well, just research. <laughs> Look at history, study history. 
whenever God is removed from a society, the society starts to break down. They start to have problems. Atheistic communism um, has led to the most people slaughtered. You have communist Russia under the uh, papal Juden, well, not really papal Juden, but the Jew Jewish uh, Bolsheviks, um, the communists with Karl Marx, and they killed 60 plus million Russian people, starved them out and everything else. Just an absolutely horrible slaughter. Very evil man. And uh, wasn't really a white man, but you know, the whole point is, uh, they're, because they're Jewish, um, <coughs> they're not Japhetic, in other words, is what I'm saying. Japheth being the father, the ancestor of the white people after the flood. Um, <coughs> but, you know, look at uh, communist China. Communist China, again, over 100 million people killed, slaughtered by their own government. You know, democide is what that's called. Look at the 20th century. There was a lot of democide. Um, hundreds of millions of people died at the hands of their own government. Why? Because the people in power uh, didn't think very highly of the Bible. That's a problem. You need to have scripture there. But um, right now, this movement, this anti-white movement that I've spoken about before, to uh, rid the world of these dreaded wasps, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, and you know, and I'm not just saying you know Anglo-Saxon. There's others, you know, whites and things like that, Nordic types of people, and you know, uh, Scandinavian and whatever else. Um, <clears throat> but you know, we need to rid the world of these evil white people. Uh, that's foolish. That's very foolish. It should definitely not be that way. Um, I'm going to read uh, scripture here to kind of back up my point. If you know the book of Acts, you understand that the Apostle Paul, as a Jewish man, he was put on trial. Acts chapter 28, verse 17, it says, um, And it came to pass that after three days Paul called the chief of the Jews together, and when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem. He was wrongly charged, in other words not a just criminal thing that he had done. Uh, into the hands of the Romans. Okay, he was delivered prisoner into the hands of the Romans. Who, when they had examined me, would have let me go because there was no cause of death in me. Was the Roman system a just system? Yes. Yes, it was. Um, verse 19 but when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar, not that I had ought to accuse my nation of. For this cause, therefore, have I called for you to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. Now, the hope of Israel is their Jewish Messiah, to have the king reigning on the earth, a true righteous king, God manifest in the flesh, not a mortal man. Okay? The modern Talmudic Jews are teaching that their Messiah is going to be a mo just a regular mortal man. Well, that's nonsense. That uh, defies lots of scriptures, a whole lot of scriptures. No, it's going to be the Son of God that comes, not a mortal man. But until Jesus is ruling and reigning physically on the earth, which will happen, the premillennial coming of Jesus Christ, which I have proved in multiple studies, I mean, just read Revelation chapter 20 when it actually happens. Uh, there's no question. Jesus is ruling and reigning on the earth, and his servants rule and reign with him. Um, but until that comes, until that day comes, we need to have righteous standards. There needs to be you know, laws and rules to preserve people's liberties. And historically, you look who created those laws, who implemented those laws. It was righteous white men. And like I said, even the one Caesar, I forget which one it was, the emperor of Rome. And, um, but he prided himself in the thing of having just laws. And he, under his authority, he protected the Christians. Wasn't a Christian himself, but he said these people have a right. They have a right to believe what they want to believe. They're not a, a problem. They're good people. They work hard and, and whatever else. And that's as it should be. Um, so... Uh, if you're out there and you're 
of another uh, race, another ethnicity, and you're buying into this whole thing of the whites are evil people and everything else, you need to repent of that. You really do. Um, it's not right to hate anybody because of their ethnicity. And uh, I just, I detest that whole thing. So please be careful what you believe. If you see this anti-white stuff, you better run from it. It's very evil. So uh, that will be it. And we'll see you in upcoming videos. As always, thank you for watching.